the electromagnetic spectrum. Like we said before, its various forms from radio waves to gamma rays, they all travel at the speed of light, they exhibit a wave-like behavior, and it's a way to transfer energy. So on the electromagnetic spectrum, we have x-rays all the way to radio waves. Up top is our frequency. Notice that gamma rays have a very, very high frequency, while radio waves have a low frequency. So as I go to the right on this graph, frequency decreases. And if frequency is decreasing, then my wavelength should be increasing. This is 10 to the 8th, while this is negative 14. So this side has a very high wavelength or long wavelength and a low frequency. So we have gamma rays, x-rays, UV, the visible spectrum, infrared, microwaves, radio waves, and then long wave radio waves. Something else you need to be familiar with is energy. Which one do you think has higher energy? Gamma rays or radio waves? To answer that, think about which one do you have to stand behind lots of protection when you're near? Gamma rays or radio waves? Gamma rays, obviously. So gamma rays have the highest energy. And down here on this side, the lowest energy. So a new relationship that we have is low frequency is low energy, or high wavelengths or long wavelengths are low in energy, and then the opposite for the other side. Let's look at energy in a demo. We have a board that's made of the same material as a glow-in-the-dark star. So we're going to see what kind of energy we need in order to make it glow. In the so our first color is red. Red does not seem to have enough energy to light up our board. Next is orange, because we're G biv. Orange is not strong enough. Yellow. Yellow doesn't have enough energy. Let's turn into an exciting demo. Next we have green, Regi Biv. So green. So not very much, but it is lighting up with green. Next is blue. So here's blue. We definitely have enough energy with blue. Notice what color light is coming off. We have green light coming off, and the first color that lit it up was green. In order for the board to light up, it has to have at least the amount of energy that green light does. Because that's what it's going to release as well as green light. So green lit up, blue lit up. Even though blue is putting more energy into it, it's still releasing it in the form of green light. What about violet? What about violet? If green and blue lit it up, then we would think violet would light it up as well. And it does. That's much stronger even than the blue was. What about white light? Make your prediction on if you think white light will light it up. So here's white light. Let's see if you're correct. And white light does light it up. That makes sense because what comes out of a normal light bulb is white light. White light is simply the combination of all of the colors of Regi Biv, or all the colors of visible light. Those are the only colors that we can see, but UV light, what do we think about UV light? Would UV light or gamma rays light up the board? I have a black light. You can usually tell that a black light's on only because they put a filter on it so you can see 
the violet coming off of it. But without that filter, you wouldn't see the UV rays. Just like when you go outside, you do not see the UV rays hitting your skin. So let's try UV, which is a black light. Notice that does light it up. Finally, what do we think about infrared? My projector remote has infrared coming out of it, so if I push a button and try infrared, nothing happens. Like I said before, the only forms of energy that you can see with the visible eye is the visible spectrum. Infrared we cannot see, but if we look at it through the camera lens, we can see it. So if I push the projector remote, notice you can see the infrared light lighting up. While if you were looking at it with your naked eye, you wouldn't be able to see that light. So you can go home and check your batteries of your remote. If it's not working, pull up your camera and see if it lights up. If not, then more than likely your batteries are dead. All right, so let's look at some questions that you may see. Given the picture, are wavelengths of x-rays longer or shorter than those of UV? X-rays are higher in energy, which means that that's a higher frequency or a lower wavelength. Lower is shorter wavelength. Which color in the visible spectrum has the highest frequency? Highest frequency is the highest energy, and you should recall that that's violet. And the lowest frequency of the visible spectrum is lowest energy, or red. Is the frequency of the radiation used in a microwave oven, which is 2.45 gigahertz, higher or lower than that of your favorite FM radio station? The microwave oven it is further to the left, it has a greater energy, and therefore a greater frequency than radio. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. Longest wavelength corresponds to the lowest frequency and the lowest energy. So of the types here, UV is more than visible light. X-rays are more than UV. So red light's here, microwave is over here. So the microwave. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. So we're looking for the one that has the most energy. Radio is the lowest, then infrared of this list, then violet. Gamma rays have the most energy. 